Hello everybody, we're putting together a collection of resources that we hope will help you teach your students should you need to teach them remotely from home. This is the first one using J2E software and it's called Creating and Sharing Work with Your Pupils Using J2E. Okay, um, in your MyFiles area, so the majority of work I create, so should I want to create a worksheet, for example, I use the J2E5 software. In my My Files, here's one that I've created earlier. So you can see it's a skeleton home learning task. In this, I've added an image and um, a description of what I would want the students to do with this, with this activity. So I would save that activity, give it a name and press save. I then get an option to share here with my class. So if I choose the share, in this instance, I want to give each child a worksheet. So I leave that as a worksheet and then I would click on the drop down and choose which class I want to share it with. So if this was year four and that was the class, I've now shared that with that year class, year group class. Okay. Pupils would access this work by logging onto their launch page um, and navigating to the shared work tile here. Mine's probably a lot busier than yours. So they go to the shared work tile and then whatever class, so I just shared that with 4AJ, you'll see that work is there. They would then access that the work that they do um, would be completed and a copy is automatically then saved into each individual student's files. Okay, as a teacher, you will definitely want to see those pupil files. So you would always go to your My Files area, um, which you can get to here. So in your My Files area, you navigate down to the pupil files and then you find your class. Um, and within that class, you will see each of your children and the number here denotes the, the pieces of work that's in that file. OK, if we go into this one, for example, if this was a piece of work that I wanted to look at or mark, we can now have a learning conversation about that. So we would just click on this speech bubble and I could now give a comment. So here that would be feedback. And I could type my message here. Great use of colour research, for example. Uh, if I press return, that comment was automatically gone to the pupil. Or I could send a voice recording. So I could record. Um, well done, I think that work was really good. I can see that you tried to include all of the elements you were asked to. Okay. And you notice that that voice recording has also gone to the child. The children will see a speech bubble over each piece of work that goes red, that will show them and you as a teacher that you've got a conversation that's unread. So here's one from Vince. And if we go into here, you can see it, it looks at this digestive system piece of work here. And if I go into it, you can see that Mr. Rowley said, great work girls and what he needed else to include and the pupils replied. Okay, this might be a great way to start a conversation around pieces of work whilst your children are being taught remotely. Um, okay, we're going to move on to another video. I'm going to end this one now. The next video will look at how we create tiles and share resources. So that could be web links. So please join that one if you'd like.